Hey guys, we are back at the piano. Well, not really back at the piano. We're, we're at the Polish consulate. We're gonna have a concert here in two days with Nadia Manchak, violin and piano. A very nice place to play. And today, we're gonna to talk about double escapement a little bit. This is this thing when you touch the key where you feel like it just goes cluck down. And we find that making this, making a different kinds of sounds, you need to control the top of the key and not so much the bottom of the key. So when you hit down all the way to the bottom, it just doesn't, we don't get the right kind of sound note. So here's an exercise for feeling this uh, double escapement. What we're gonna do is put the pinky and the thumb together like this, do it in both hands. And then we're gonna go in like this. Again, we're talking about this forward movement a lot, which is going in and repeat that note like this. So it should sound ta-da and not ta-da, right? If the first one is light enough, then the second one, you'll get the sound. Otherwise, you get something like that. So again, it's as light as possible, just on the top of the key. Second finger and thumb like this in the front. Then take the third finger and the thumb like this. Same thing in the, fr in the front. So we're just using the thumb to get a bit more precision here and play in the front. So it's very light like this. Try it with the fourth as well. Same thing. Fifth finger. See right here you can hear that it's only when it's very light that we really have it. You can hear those two notes. Then we're going to do a scale like this very slowly like this. So we're always doubling those notes and make sure you get you get them to ring twice, especially on the second one. So this is the little exercise that can really help when you're trying to play inside that little space right there, not so much down here. <laughs> 